Hey, what's up, guys? We're back with one more video. Um, another episode of Monster Mail, man. I got this um, the other day in the mail. Some pretty cool cards for some decks I'm building. Um, two cards that are not in here that I already got in the deck box. I just didn't think about doing this in time. Was Buster Dragon and the Fusion for Buster Blader since I was building the deck. I got that in the mail, too, in addition with this. But we'll do each one of these at one at a time. Um, as soon as I can get the cards out of the sleeve, I will get this started. Now, um, this here, here we go. We actually got quite a few here. Um, starting off with some ritual cards. Now, um, Dark World Dealings and another Advanced Ritual Art. Um, this right here is actually going to be for a Relinquished deck that I've been working on. I love Relinquished. Um, I've had the deck for a while. I just wanted to upgrade it a little bit. Um, and if I decide to change it up from Relinquish, I could play probably Megalith with some of this. I haven't decided if I want to play Megalith yet or not. I know I'm going to be redoing my Relinquish deck with this. And I also got um, Attic Nisters I'm working on. But that's to start it. Um, Advanced Ritual Art if you, and Pre-Prep right here. If you're playing any Ritual deck, you probably should be playing these cards. This card's really freaking good in Ritual decks. Um, Dark World Dealings. I actually got like five more copies of this. Just came in. It's a really cool card to have. Um, especially if you're playing cards that get bonuses off this cards. So just a heads up for that. Like uh, Danger, Zombies, you know, Orcus, shit like that. Ritual Sanctuary. I've never actually played this card. I needed one more copy for to you know do my playset. Um, I not going to play this and um relinquished crap. I'm actually got this because I'm thinking about working on a uh, back, a blacklister soldier ritual deck. Um, I just haven't really started too much of it. I just wanted to go ahead and get a copy to finish my playset just in case I do decide to actually build the deck. Um, that's starting it. Next for Monster Mail, we got a 2004 or 5 Guilford the Lightning um, from the 10 uh, CT2. Um, it's a it's light played, maybe moderately played. Um, I got it super cheap though, man. I got it for like a buck. Um, the car is actually worth a pretty decent amount though. Um, if I can keep it, you know, in the condition as it is, so it doesn't get any more worse, the card would go up in price, even though it's moderately played. Um, next, we got um, two Instant Fusion. I want to hit and pick this up from Fusion Enforcers. I mean, who doesn't love Instant Fusion? Uh, it'll go in whatever decks I'm building. I always play Instant Fusion. It's a fucking strong card, man. If you're not playing Instant Fusion, recommend you do. Um, we also got an Alti. Um, next on the list is number 91, Thunder Spark Dragon. Um, this is in a really, actually, really good condition. There's slight surface wear, like right here in the corner. There's a little ding. Um, other than that, the card's pretty clean, man. It's very, very clean. I got this super cheap, too. I found it online for like a buck. So, you know, ultimate rares are going to one day be really, really hard to come by, and I collect ultimates and stuff like that. So I just I didn't have this one yet, and I wanted to add it add it to my collection. So I went ahead and got this as well. It's three level four monsters once per turn. You can detach three, destroy all their monsters on the field, or you can detach up to five from this card, destroy all cards your opponent controls. Probably won't play it, but I just really do want it for the collection. Um, next on the list is going to be. I got this right here. One confiscation um, from MRL. It even says magic card. That's how old this is. Um, if you know what that means, that's pretty good. And it's in really good shape, man, for being as old as it is. And it's a first ed. Uh, it's a super rare. I had to get this. I can't not pass up on old, really old, old like cards. There's a little bit of dirt I can just get off of it, though. Um, it would probably grade out at like a... If I clean up the back, it'd probably grade up around like an 8, 8 to a 9 maybe. It's very good. The centering's not terrible on it, but it's it's confiscation. It's a great card. I could not pass up on an old collector's card like that. Um, next on the list, 
uh, two mind controls. I got these for a buck too. Oh, that confiscation I got super cheap. I just don't know if the dude knew what it was. But as soon as I said I saw it said magic, I copped it. It was like a dollar. Um, two mind controls I got for a buck each too from Legendary's Collection Yugi's World. Mind Control is a very strong card. If it ever goes back to three, you always want to make sure you have plenty of copies of Mind Control. Um, next on the list is uh, Evil Swarm Ouroboros from, uh, I can't remember what set, but the card's awesome. It's really fucking strong and good. And I love the, I like to play test with it. It's definitely a badass card, man. Look at this. Three level four monsters once per turn. Detach one material of this card to activate one of their effects. Each effect can only be used once while this card is face up on the field. So what that means is if you use the first one once, that's all you can do. You can't use it again while this card is up on the field. So you got to like go through the list. It's a really good card, though. I had to pick it up. It wasn't bad at all. Um, next on the list, we actually got um, one, two, three, four copies. This one was the cheapest because, of course, it's damaged. But wait till you see what it is. I picked all these up for like 50 cents each. Um, Imperial Orders. Um, this is from Dark Beginnings 1. Dark Beginnings 1. Uh, Dark Beginning 1. And Dark Beginnings 1. Um, uh, let me just tell you something. If you find Imperial Orders from DB1 for 50 cent a pop, uh, get it. Don't wait. Get it. Um, it's an incredible card. It negates all spell effects. So I definitely had to pick it up. And this right here is actually a mint copy of this card. Um, well, good. maybe it's not. They advertise it as a mint. It has a little bit of slight damage right there, but that's it's whatever. Um, I can still play in the tournaments so. though. Um, this card right here hopefully comes off the ban list. I wanted to get it before it shoots up higher than what it already is. Um, I got it super fucking cheap too. So, Harpy's Feather Duster Secret from Yugi's uh, Legendary Collection Yugi's World. Um, first Ed Secret. I had to cop this. Listen, if this come, card comes off the ban list and you don't have this card or Maxi. You're going to be screwed, if, especially if you play the game competitively. you got to get something like this. Uh, this card is very strong. Um, very good. It's, 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 this card is, sits around $20 to $30, um, especially in mint condition and first ed. So take my advice, guys. If you can find dusters for cheap, you might want to cop them before they come off the ban list. Because even the rares and commons of dusters... If it comes off the ban list, it's going to be probably around 5 bucks just for those. And the secrets will probably hit around 30 to 40 maybe even $50. So just a heads up, guys, because it's already sitting between 20 and $30. So that's this edition of Monster Mail, guys. Like I said, I did have the Fusion for Buster Blader and the two trap cards called Destruction Sword Memories. I got two copies of those. And the Buster Dragon itself, but it's already in the deck. Um, just wanted to give you all a little update of Monster Meryl and where I take my collection and how I order some cards. I do some competitive stuff, some collect some collection stuff, and stuff I think that might actually come off the ban list. So, you know, if you're ever trying to buy, you kind of follow those steps. Do you want to go competitive, casual, collector, you know, or you can do a mix like me. Um, it, you can take it whichever way you want, but just as a heads up, guys, definitely... Definitely get this card. Definitely get this card, especially with the price of it right now. Get it before it jumps because it's an incredible card. And, you know, even even though this ban list was complete shit and we didn't get nothing off the ban list really except, it really except um, Unicorn to 3, the Ritual Beast, whatever, Alti, Connor Hawk, Cannon Hawk, or whatever the fuck it's called, and Unicorn to 3, that is no big deal. Uh, September... Once we get some tournament play, cards like this is coming off the ban list because Lightning Storm's out, so this means this card can come off the ban list finally. So, heads up, get it before it gets expensive. You know, try to try to you know know what's coming off the ban list before it actually does, and it'll trust me, you save money. Well, guys, this is the next edition in Monster Mail. Hope you enjoyed it. Y'all take it easy.